Hello guys, welcome back to the Simple Snip Code. My name is Rahul, and in this video, we will install APM and APM Desktop in Ubuntu 22.04. So, before installing APM, we need three software uh, to execute APM. The first one is Node.js, and the second one is Java 8, and third one is Android Studio. If you not install this software, then I am uh, I am created separate video for Node.js, Java 8, and Android Studio. You can install from them. And don't forget to set path of Java 8 and Android Studio. I will provide this video link in the video description. After downloading and installing this software, uh, come here to install APM. After uh, after that, we uh, we have to install APM using Node.js. So first, uh, we have to check uh, Node version. So to check Node version, simple open terminal and write command Node hyphen hyphen version and hit enter. Okay, so here uh, version 16.16.0 is installed in our system. Okay. So simple uh, after uh, after check uh, node version, we have to install apm. So the apm installation command is npm install hyphen g apm. So it will install apm globally. So I hit, hit enter. It will give me the error uh, like permission denied. So I have write sudo before this command and again hit enter. Write sudo password. Now it will install APM. It will take some time to install APM in our system via globally. Here my APM is installation successfully. After that we have checked APM version. And after uh, successfully installation APM, we have to uh, install APM app image. Okay, so I have I have a link of app image. Simple copy from here. I will provide this link in the video description. And go to any browser and paste it here and hit enter. When you hit enter, uh, then APM Linux app image is automatically download started. Okay. So here uh, APM app image is uh, downloading uh, the remaining time is 1 minute 55 second okay so here I uh, run my APM using Python so we have to install Python APM APM Python client okay so I am here install APM Python client okay and hit enter click on first link that is APM Python client and copy here and paste into your terminal and hit enter okay it will download your APM Python client okay if you are uh, using Java then you can uh, install APM Java client okay here downloading is not completed yet uh, so it will take uh, the file size is 132 MB and it will take one minute 24 second left so meet after downloading here my apm app image is downloaded click on show folder and cut file from here and go to document and create new folder that is software and paste it here okay we have installed apm and after that we can, we have installed apm uh, app image uh, the third we have installed apm python client if you are using java then you can install apm java client okay after that last step you have to install apm uh, apm doctor okay so open terminal and clear this simple write npm install apm hyphen doctor space g okay so it will install apm doctor globally it will give me the error permission denied so simple write sudo before and hit enter now it will install apm doctor globally here apm doctor is installed successfully and after that write command apm hyphen doctor space hyphen h okay so 
this is a tool that attempts to identify and uh, resolve common configuration issue in Node.js, Android, and Java. Okay, it will check the uh, APM version Android and Node.js. Okay, so we have installed APM Doctor also. Uh, the last step we have to click on APM App Image. Click on here. Right click properties. Go to permission and click on this checkbox allow executing file as a program and close this after that close this and all close file close and after that restart your system so here I am restarting my system after successfully uh, restart my system uh, again I go to files mm -hmm. And here I, I have to open APM app image so simple click on software document software and right click here and click on run but it will not run my APM desktop see what uh, error it will give me the so open terminal and simple write dot slash and APM and hit enter okay so it will give me the error APM require fuse to run uh, DL open function error loading leaf fuse so dot two. Okay, so we have to install leaf fuse. Okay, so uh, here I got the uh, amazing website to install leaf fuse. So simple copy this command sudo apt uh, install leaf fuse. Copy this command and paste into our terminal and hit enter. Enter sudo password and again hit enter. So it will install leaf fuse. After successfully install LeafFuse, again uh, run this command dot slash apm app image. Again, it will give me the error. No, 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 it will not give me the error. Uh, though, here you can see my apm app image is started. You can see here my APM app image is open. Okay, so before uh, click on start server, first click on edit configuration, and we have to check uh, the Android and Java path is set or not. Okay, but we can see here my Android home path is set, uh, but my Java home path is not set. So we have to set uh, my Java home path. So we have to set Java path. Okay, so simple copy this command and paste into a terminal and hit enter enter sudo password and it will open bash rc file uh, simple copy these three command and paste into the end of the file okay so do one thing um, first we have to change uh, our this jvm path name okay so you have to know your what is your uh, jvm means java path name so simple open terminal and write slash cd slash user and after that uh, slash lib slash jvm and hit enter or after that write ls command so you can see here your the your file name is java slash 1.8 hyphen jdk md64 okay so copy this command and paste it here the file name now you can copy all these three command and paste into the bash rc file at the end of line and click on save file and click on close after that uh, it will save uh, it will save the java path in bash rc file close the terminals and again go to files and click on apm app image and click on run i don't know why it will not uh, run so okay okay it will run it will take uh, some time up uh, approx 10 to 15 seconds again click on edit configuration we have to see uh, it will set our java path or not I don't know why it will not set path uh, of Android or Java. So we have set manual path of Android home and uh, Java home. 
so open terminal and write the slash home slash your uh, username so my username is Rahul and third write Android and after that write SDK okay so copy this path and paste into so copy this path and paste into our Android home click here and after that we have to paste our home path simple copy this path and paste into our Java home and click on save and restart restart now the application will restart it okay. so click on close again click on close okay. after that again open files and click on APM and click on run we can uh, now we have to see the APM or uh, the, sorry the Android or Java path is set or not I can click on edit configuration you can see here now Android and Java path is saved successfully close this file and start server you okay you can see here uh, the APM server is started you can see here my APM and my server is running started okay so the last the last step is uh, we have to install one app so here I install Zomato app simple click on start inspect session and it will take some time if you are opening first time and zoom it after that uh, you have to uh, enter JSON uh, representation so simple copy this command simple copy this and paste it here okay and click on save file you can uh, add it from you can add it from here so simple we have to change your uh, your device name so if you have to find your device name simple click uh, write adb devices and hit enter so but it will give me the error no permission uh, see okay so again unplug your device okay again unplug your device and plug your device in the option in the option no data transfer file transfer and ptp simple click on file transfer and again run uh, idb devices the error will gone okay simple copy this command and paste into your apm apm desktop so paste it here okay and you have to change your Zomato application path so here I uh, so here uh, you can change your Zomato application path simple copy this command so sim uh, simple uh, copy this folder name and paste it here paste it here and slash my file name is Zomato dot apk I will provide Zomato apk in the video description okay and simple click on start session Okay, so it will uh, first it will install APM setting in your phone after that it will uh, install Zomato app in your mobile application okay, okay. so you can see here uh, my uh, Zomato application is installed and successful and uh, you can see here this is my uh, mobile screen okay uh, if you have to change your mobile screen simple uh, change your mobile screen and click on refresh source and screenshot okay if I click on refresh source and uh, screenshot you can see here now uh, my uh, screen is refreshed okay so that's it for the video guys in this video we have installed APM desktop and uh, install my first application in the desktop uh, APM okay so that's it for the video guys if you like this video then subscribe to my channel